Welcome to this week's Bite of Knowledge, where I give you bites of information in a timely manner because we all have busy days and busy weeks. So today's Bite of Knowledge is all about the cottage cheese. You're listening to the Digest This Podcast, and I'm your host, Bethany Cameron. Let's get right into the nitty gritty. Poor gut health has been linked to poor immunity, depression, anxiety, brain fog, low energy, skin issues, including acne, and studies are now coming out that our gut microbiome is linked to obesity and type 2 diabetes. And in the world we live in today, so many factors and environmental toxins can hinder our gut and are constantly trying to break down our microbiome. Now, it's not practical we go off grid and live away from society to avoid all these things. So it's important to combat them with a good probiotic and prebiotic to give our gut support and skin in the game to fight off infections and help us live our best life full of vitality, energy, clear skin, and regularity. But not all probiotics are created equal. In fact, many don't even make it to the grocery stores alive. So you just wasted your hard-earned money on something that is basically dead. That's why I trust Seed's DS01 Daily Symbiotic Capsule. This is a prebiotic and probiotic in one. If you've ever seen me in my Instagram stories showing you what Seed's capsules actually look like, it's pretty cool. That's because it's a capsule within a capsule. So if you open up the first capsule, there's actually another capsule inside. Seed's Daily Symbiotic is a prebiotic and probiotic to support gut health that has completely revolutionized the daily supplement world, designed to make its way all the way through your stomach and survive your stomach acid, with studies even showing its 100% survivability rate. And I'm pretty sure we all know what probiotics are. They are the good bacteria we need inside our gut. But without the prebiotics, the probiotics will die. You see, because probiotics are also living organisms and they need food too. That's where the prebiotics come in. They help feed the probiotics, helping them to survive in our body, which is what we want. Sources of prebiotics include garlic, onions, leeks, asparagus, artichoke, oats, grains, and legumes. But for many people with digestive issues, all these foods are off limits because they can cause other issues. And if you follow a grain-free diet or paleo diet, then oats, legumes, beans, and other prebiotic-containing grains are off limits too. So to make sure you are getting the full benefit of taking probiotics as well as getting what you paid for, Seed's Daily Symbiotic is what I would recommend to all my friends and family. And if you're not sure if you want to take the plunge, Seed is offering my community a whopping 25% off your first order so you can try it and see if you like it. They will send you a super chic glass bottle filled with all the goods. Then they have an eco-friendly sustainable biomaterial refill system delivered each month after that and you can cancel anytime so even after the first month you can cancel if you feel like it's not for you but let me tell you if you are taking a probiotic anyways why not switch to seed and experience the array of benefits countless others including myself have and if you're not already taking a probiotic or prebiotic Take this as your sign to take back your health now. Just go to seed.com slash digest and use code 25digest to get 25% off your first order. Again, that's seed.com slash digest and use code 25digest to get 25% off. Make sure it's all lowercase. Okay, so today I'm gonna share the dirt. I mean, I'm sharing brands that are actually great, but also brands of cottage cheese you should definitely stay away from and be aware of because, I mean, there's so many out there and there's so many offenders. I'm also gonna share what ingredients to look out for and stay away from because maybe I just don't mention a brand and then you can at least look at the ingredient list for yourself and know that you could put it back on the shelf or pick it up. So before we even get into that, I wanna share 
what cottage cheese actually is and how it's made because you can actually make it at home. In fact, I do have a reel on my Instagram about how to make homemade cottage cheese. I did it with goat's milk. And so this was really cool. This was actually back in 2023. Just scroll back and I have a tutorial of how to make your own cottage cheese at home. It is so easy. So what is cottage cheese? How is it made? So obviously the it's a dairy product and it can easily be made at home with just a few simple ingredients. And back in the day, our grandparents and ancestors probably did make it at home without any of the additives that are in today's store-bought cottage cheese. There's no chemicals or preservatives that we find today. The texture is super creamy. There's obviously there's cheese curds. They can be varied in size, bigger to smaller. And it is a very high protein food. Full fat is the best, by the way. So that's just the classic way and and the best way really to have cottage cheese. It's great paired with berries or just eaten alone. So a little fun fact here, cottage cheese originated in the 1800s as a way to use the leftover fermented milk after making butter. During the First World War, the Federal Drug Administration, aka the FDA, encouraged Americans to eat more cottage cheese because of the protein it had as a replacement for meat during the national food shortage. They noted that cottage cheese had more protein than a pound of beef, pork, or poultry. And by the 1950s, cottage cheese was hailed as a health food and it was used by fitness enthusiasts. And according to the USDA, in the 1970s, at the peak of its popularity, the average American ate five pounds of cottage cheese per year. Now, Americans do not eat as much cottage cheese as they used to today, primarily because they have swapped to other types of foods, including yogurt, plant-based milk beverages, and other non-dairy type products. However, 2023 was the comeback year of cottage cheese. So those statistics may be a little skewed. I mean, everyone knows cottage cheese was the food of 2023. And so that's primarily too why I am even doing this bite of knowledge is because it's still popular today. I know it's the beginning of 2024, but uh, a lot of people are still utilizing cottage cheese and for good reason. Now let's talk about the ingredients to avoid in cottage cheese or in any food for that matter. There are several problematic ingredients that we found present in conventional cottage cheese. So here is a brief list of the ingredients that are found in cottage cheese that I believe have no business being there. Carrageenan. Now, there are many forms of carrageenan and not all forms are problematic to human health, but some are linked to ulcers, ulcerative colitis, and irritable bowel syndrome. The problem is there is no way of knowing what is being used. The organic industry still allows for use of carrageenan, but it's very controversial in the industry and most brands have opted out. Emulsifiers and gums. There are many ingredients used as fillers, emulsifiers, and gums in cottage cheese like gore gum, acacia gum, xanthan gum, and soy lecithin. These give the cottage cheese a, quote, creamier mouthfeel, and it prevents everything from separating. These extra ingredients are not needed, and some people may be very allergic to them. I have an entire post about gums on my blog, and you can go read uh, more about it there on littlesipper.com. You can type in the search bar gums. And so once you do, you, once you read that, you'll just stay away from gums forever. They are just an IBS nightmare. Now, surprisingly, artificial flavors and colors are added to many cottage cheese products and brands. So artificial colors are made from petroleum and have been linked to hyperactivity in children and 
even cancers. Artificial flavors are linked to some concerning effects in different studies that have come out. So that's, I mean, why even add colors and flavorings? Crazy enough, the colors, it's not for a pink or blue color, but there are coloring agents that actually make something more white, so whiter. So maybe it's like, maybe it's naturally an off-white or a tan color and companies really want to give that bright white look. So that's why they add the colors, which is just, in my opinion, again, just ridiculous. Maltodextrin is another additive. So um, most maltodextrin, unless organic, is likely to be genetically modified from corn. Maltodextrin is a high glycemic additive that can raise your blood sugar. And over time, eating high glycemic foods is linked to insulin resistance and diabetes. Maltodextrin has also been linked to Crohn's disease and other IBS problems. Mono and diglycerides. Have you ever seen this in an ingredient list and wondered what the heck are these? Well, <laughs> these ingredients can be contaminated with trans fats, which are linked to an increased risk of heart disease and stroke. Technically, trans fats are not allowed in American food anymore, but mono and diglycerides are considered an emulsifier. So it has their own loophole. Polysorbate 80 is another additive you may see in cottage cheese. And while the FDA maintains this ingredient as, quote, safe, it's been linked to inflammatory bowel diseases, ulcerative colitis, and Crohn's disease. Okay, you guys, listen up. If you have the following symptoms, such as constipation or diarrhea, anxiety, sugar or alcohol cravings, poor immune system, compulsive or disordered eating, low muscle mass, poor wound healing, slow recovery after workouts, heartburn or acid reflux, or digestive issues like colitis, IBS, diverticulitis, Crohn's, celiac disease, or symptoms from food sensitivities, taking L-glutamine could be beneficial. L-glutamine is one of the most important nutrients for a healthy digestive tract because of its ability to maintain the integrity of the intestinal wall. This amino acid, which is the most abundant amino acid in our body, helps heal all human tissues, especially those irritated tissues in the digestive tract. It's also been known as the calming amino acid since it's very effective at reducing anxiety, as well as sugar and alcohol cravings. Even progressive addiction treatment centers will use it to help reduce cravings. Plus, get this, you guys. In a 2011 study published in the Yonsei Medical Journal found that glutamine supports the immune system and it's especially beneficial for patients in the hospital and those fighting viruses or overwhelming infections. Your entire immune system is protected from the toxic environment by your gut barrier. And if that barrier gets damaged, you will get sick and create an overactive immune system, producing inflammation throughout the body. Thankfully, a damaged gut lining can be reversed and can be accomplished by getting enough gut healing nutrients such as L-glutamine. Clinically, medical professionals have found this to be true with their clients and I myself have experienced the benefits. That's why I created my very own L-glutamine powder under Bethany's Pantry. This powder is pure without any additives, fillers, flavorings, gums, or unnecessary ingredients. The ingredients are literally just one, L-glutamine. It's vegan, paleo, keto, and tasteless. So you can literally just add it to a glass of water, stir for five seconds, and sip without tasting anything. This amino acid also works well in smoothies, mixed in yogurt. I've even added it to my guacamole. It dissolves instantly and you can't even tell it's there. And your body will thank you from all the benefits you're giving it to fully heal in the area you need healing or just boosting your immune system in prep for the upcoming flu season. Guys, I am so proud to finally offer a clean L-glutamine powder I can fully recommend. If you want a bag, just go to newsest-usa.com slash Bethany's Pantry, where you'll find this plus all my other Bethany's Pantry items. Again, go to newsest-usa.com slash Bethany's Pantry. That's n-u-z-e-s-t-usa.com slash Bethany's Pantry. I'll also leave that link in today's show notes. All right. You may not know this about me, but every morning before I drink my daily coffee, 
I actually drink electrolytes first. There's two reasons I do this. One, your body is naturally dehydrated from the previous night's sleep and is craving hydration. And two, coffee actually dehydrates you, even though it is technically a liquid. So rule of thumb, hydrate before you caffeinate. I personally use Element Electrolytes in my morning routine. It's literally the first thing I drink every single morning. I stick to their raw, unflavored version, which contains no sugar, no flavorings, no coloring, and no fillers. It contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of salt, magnesium, and potassium. And their unflavored version has only those three ingredients. Element is by far the cleanest electrolyte drink I've found on the market, and I've been looking for a while. Other electrolyte drink mixes have added sugar, maltodextrin, dextrose, gums, and even added oils. Electrolytes are essential for our body to function. So you want to not only make sure you are getting them in your body, but you are getting the best kind. There's also research to back that when you keep hydrated, there are lower risks of anxiety and depression in individuals. So whether you just finished a workout, sauna session, or just waking up in the morning, Element is formulated to help anyone with their electrolyte needs and is perfectly suited for those following a keto, low-carb, vegan, or paleo diet. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any purchase. That's eight single-serving packs free with any Element order. To get eight free packs, you must go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash digest to get this offer. Element also has a no questions asked refund policy. So you can try it totally risk-free. If you don't like it, they will give you your money back. No questions asked. You have nothing to lose. So go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T L-M-N-T dot com slash digest to get this amazing offer. I'll also leave that link in today's show notes so you can easily scroll down and order with just one easy tap. Another additive you may find in cottage cheese is potassium sorbate. Now, eating this ingredient is just absurd because the consumption of it has been linked to being a genotoxic and mutagenic compound when digested. Who wants to eat that? I've seen these ingredients in different brands. Um, The ones that come to mind are uh, a lot of the Trader Joe's branded cottage cheese have uh, some of these ingredients in them. And I know that's very popular. A lot of people buy the Trader Joe's brand. So just be aware. Also just a lot of store brands in general. So whatever store you're shopping at, they typically have their own branded label of cottage cheese, most likely the that will also contain some of these ingredients. Probably not all. They're probably picking and choosing here, but just something to always look out for. My goal here is to equip you with the knowledge of what to look for so that you don't have to wonder, is this brand okay or is that brand okay? But you can have the knowledge to look at an ingredient and say, look, I see X, Y, and Z in the ingredient list. I'm not going to buy it and here's why. Um, I mean, all that said, I wanted to share a few good brands that I found because you may not even be aware of them and then you can try and search them out yourself and see if they are in a store near you or if you can purchase them online. So let's talk about the better brands that I found. First of all, if you're lactose intolerant, there is a company called Green Valley and all of their stuff is actually lactose free. They add the lactase enzyme in it. So Green Valley lactose free cottage cheese is pretty versatile. It's high in protein, obviously, just like with any cottage cheese. And the ingredients in this is just organic skim milk, organic whole milk, organic cream, lactase enzyme, Celtic sea salt, and live and active cultures. So they do use all organic ingredients, which I do appreciate, um, except for the sea salt, but I don't really think the sea salt counts. You can still have something organic and just have regular sea salt to, to my knowledge. So Again, it's organic. There's no additives. There's no gums. There's no stabilizers. Each serving contains 
12 grams of protein and only three grams of carbs. Now, I'm sure you guys are aware of Good Culture Cottage Cheese. It's, I mean, very well known by the health and wellness community and for good reason. They provide cultured cottage cheese that is organic, pasture raised, which is very rare these days. There's no gums, no added synthetic vitamins, no stabilizers, no thickeners, and the varieties come in 2%, 4%, 5%, which is keto certified, and they also have a lactose-free version as well. So I love that they offer a variety of options, and they're also in many stores, so it's really easy to access and find them. So a brand you may or may not be aware of is Kelowna Supernatural. So if you haven't heard of them, pay attention because their cottage cheese is Oh, so good. Even my podcast producer, we have like this joke going between us, and I mean, he loves their cottage cheese and he actually turned me on to their cottage cheese. It is so good. They're at Erewhon. They're at specialty retailers at Mother's Market. I also think they are at Whole Foods. I have not seen them at Sprouts. Uh, some of their other dairy products are at Sprouts, but not their cottage cheese in particular. Um, I actually had the Kelowna Supernatural on the podcast last year. If you go back to episode 128 on November 8th, 2023. We talk all about dairy politics, why dairy sensitivities may not be from what you think. Uh, and because their dairy in general, their milk, their kefir, their yogurt, and their cottage cheese, it is processed in a way that a lot of people that can't tolerate dairy can actually tolerate their products because of the way it's processed. And that's huge these days. So they have a whole milk cottage cheese. They also have a low fat cottage cheese. It is grass fed. It's organic. Again, I said it comes in 4%, 2%. It's non-homogenized. So there's a cream top and non-homogenized is huge. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of people can digest it that would not normally be able to digest dairy products. It is low temp pasteurized. Low temp is very important as well. And it, uh, it's a small family farm. So they come from small family farms. It's regenerative farming. So they have regenerative farming methods and it's made with Celtic sea salt. So definitely be on the lookout for Kelowna Supernatural. Now the brand West Buy is another, it's organic. So it's cultured, it's preservative free, gum free. And this is actually, I found this online. So I didn't find it in stores, but they're kosher. So if you are kosher and you are looking for a kosher certified organic cottage cheese, West Buy may be an option for you. It is small curd, 4% milk fat. The ingredients in that is just grade A skim milk, organic grade A milk, organic grade A cream, live and active cultures. That's it. Now, lastly, the brand Dutch Meadows. Now, this cottage cheese is made in small batches using fresh milk from 100% grass-fed Dutch felled cows. Now, this is very special. It's also non-homogenized. So it's, again, 100% grass-fed, soy-free, GMO-free. There's no hormones or pesticides, chemical-free, no added sugar, and all that good stuff as usual. And so their, their ingredients, literally like four, skim milk, culture, cream, Celtic sea salt. That's it. That was a Dutch Meadows. All right, I know I said that was it, but one more brand I have to mention is Nancy's yogurt. So Nancy's yogurt, they, they have a cottage cheese and they have a low fat and a full fat. It is organic certified. There's literally billions of probiotics. And if you haven't tasted this, this is actually another one of my favorites. They're at Sprouts, Whole Foods, many other natural retailers and their cottage cheese, as opposed to many others, Nancy's is more sour. It has like a tang to it and I love it. And you can literally kind of like feel it tingle on your tongue. It's kind of insane. And those are the billions of live probiotics in their cottage cheese. Definitely worth a try and ex uh, experimenting with this brand because it has, again, more of a sour, tangy, tingly feel which I've never experienced in any other cottage cheese before. Again, no gums, no fillers. And so 
like I said, they're organic. Nancy's Cottage Cheese, you should check them out as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this cottage cheese episode. And if you're looking for recipes utilizing cottage cheese, I have tons on my Instagram. Probably one of my most popular recipes using cottage cheese is my cottage cheese bread. It is low carb, very high protein using cottage cheese, egg white protein. I mean, literally, I, that's it. it. It is so fun. Just add the, the protein the cottage cheese. It has to be the egg white powder. You can't use fresh egg whites. It doesn't come out the same. It's It's gotten millions and millions of views. Another favorite is the cottage cheese fudge. It's just two ingredients. And another is cottage cheese tots, low carb cottage cheese tots. And instead of using potatoes, I use cauliflower. So again, all those recipes are on my Instagram at little sipper. Go check them out. And if you feel so inclined, if you would love to support the show, please do so by rating and reviewing it. It helps boost the numbers. It helps get this into more eyes and ears. And I appreciate it so much. Thanks for listening to this episode of Digest This. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a review in your podcast app to let us know. If you're ever wondering how you can support me and this podcast, sharing it with your friends and family is the best way. This is a resonant media production produced by Drake Peterson and edited by Mike Fry. To email the show, message us at digestthispod at gmail.com. See you next time. The content of this show is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not a substitute for individual medical and mental health advice and does not constitute a provider-patient relationship. As always, talk to your doctor or health team first.